Mad Wolf here. It's actually my birthday, and um, Adrian's watching SpongeBob. He's being a little on overdrive this morning. I was hoping to do this last night, but I was just way too tired. Um, so anyway, I got Coral Paint Shop Pro 2023 open. This is my go-to paint program. I did do Photoshop for a while, but there were some cool tools that I liked about this one. So I'm going to start new. I'm really what I'm going to do is just teach various stuff. Um, resolution is okay. Uh, well, this stuff here is okay for what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, you can change the size of your digital canvas um, to be a wallpaper, to be more like, you could even do like 8 by 11, that's inches, and then convert that to pixels. You know, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But, but what we're going to be doing, I think that should be fine. Um, it's set on transparent background, so you could even make like custom PNGs in this. So the checker box is for, um, let's show it's transparent. Hi, 80. First thing I'm going to do kind of do some shine so um let's do something basic make a new layer i'm going to call it fall and i will make it green so it stands out this is the custom palette that i put together um they have their own palettes in here that you can use i don't know why how it's called corgi Miami, um, but one of the cool things about Paint Shop is um, this particular tool. This is the oil brush tool. It's more the art media uh, tools. They also have, because uh, they use different layers, um, and the reason why I like the art media tools a little bit bigger but let's see and yeah sometimes there's this glitch that happens where it's like you select a color and then it chooses something else I don't know what's up with that takes a minute I don't know why sometimes it freezes my computer too um, camera get get focus focus camera thank you yeah I'm trying to paint right now Amy. So, but let's see, we're going to do a ball here, it doesn't have to be perfect. The cool thing about the art media is it does like this, it actually runs out of paint. So, um, see that. And then like you could use the smear tool, and we'll make this a little bit bigger. And this stuff I'm going to have to go away, but then you can just smear that out but it's not an infinite amount of paint like an airbrush tool, like Photoshop. Um, just control Z. Let's see. There we go. Here's the difference. So like, let's do this. This is literally paintbrush tool. They also have the airbrush, which uh, cancel. New raster layer. So an airbrush looks more softer, but it's infinite. So I'm sure you guys can see that. And then you have a paintbrush, which is, it's, let's see. It's not as soft as the airbrush, but it's still an infinite thing I'm a jig. So um, the other big difference. Oh yeah, that's another issue I'm having with my stylus and my tablet is sometimes when I release the pen, this is not a paint shop problem. This is hardware problem I'm having. But uh, even after I release, it still thinks I'm clicking. But the big difference between these two, and if I zoom in more, 
So yeah, we're gonna see this wonderful big green here. If we come over to the other tool, there's a weird texture to it. I don't know if you can see it kind of here on the top. But the thing is, is it's to show um, paint, actual paint. So it's, it's kind of doing this thing where it looks like there's like a glob of paint on your painting. And I, I like that. I like more the traditional kind of aesthetic. Um, I'm going to post one of my uh, oil paintings, old oil paintings that I don't have anymore yeah. right there to show. There is a weird texture to actual painting. But anyway, we're working on ball. So the next thing I'm going to do with my ball, and I'm sorry for wasting a little bit of time there, I just kind of wanted to show the difference between the art media layer and raster stuff. So we're going to do a new layer. I'm going to call this Shine 1. Shine 1. Ball Shine 1. All right, so we're going to use white because it's shine. And this is going to simulate kind of like a 3D image or even give it some depth, um, make, make the light forward us so um, it'll look like something's there. Do white, not green. So we're just going to do a little bit of white. This smear tool. And it looks like we need a little bit more white. You could also change how much paint you want on your thing or how much it spreads. That's what the viscosity is, I think. So, like, if we do this. Yeah. It makes it more kind of creamy. And yeah, you can see there's a black there, but that's okay. We're just gonna go a little bit over it. And that gray is more okay, but so we're gonna do this. There's that, and then we're gonna change this. And here we have different options. Ooh. Um, very Christmassy. The red and green. But we can actually change how that white affects uh, underneath. So if we do soft light, well, you can notice that it's a little bit lighter. Hard light, um, not so much. Then you can change the uh, transparency of it. We're going to do another one. We'll call it ball shine too. This is just basic, basic stuff. So just a little bit. or hard light let's see so yeah there we go now we got it looking more like um, there's some light shine on this ball if we do shade same thing one big problem about doing this is you want to make sure the the shine actually does not leave where the ball is you can use the select tool There's two ways you can do shine. The first one is, or shade. The first one is literally do black. And you can see it doesn't properly um, stick out. Well, that's a little too, too much viscosity, I think. I hope I'm pronouncing that word correctly. Uh, 
this. Yeah, this is a little bit better, I think. Also some construction going on outside, so hopefully it's not too, too bad for you guys in the microphone. Okay, so we're doing that. Same thing. I'm going to go in here. And once again, there's different options. So we can look, darken, lighten. You can see some of the black is sticking out beyond the green. That's okay, that can be cleaned up. That one, Dissolve, makes it a little bit pixely, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, there's Overlay, and Overlay works really well. Hard Light and Soft Light. Soft Light also works really well. I'm going to do um, Overlay. So then we're going to make another one. We're going to call it Shade 2. And honestly, like this one, we're just going to do a deeper green. Because you can do that, and that's one of the reasons why I have my palette set up like this. So from all my experience with Wolfenstein stuff, is we kind of had, there is a palette like that in Chaos Edit to work on graphics and stuff. We are going to trim this up a bit right here. There we go. So it's not exactly perfect, select none. But hey, when you look at that, it looks more like a three dimensional ball. So um, that is literally, once again, this is how I prefer to paint is with the uh, art media tool. You can do the same thing with these. But, once again, I prefer this kind of sketchier kind of look. It looks kind of like, like brush strokes, to me, in my opinion. So, um, you know, we're going to try something else now. We're going to move on. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a face. So, um, I have different skin tones, browns, um, and orange. I usually use, like, orange, you know, for skin kind of like mine. Um, and yeah, this, you could say this is not orange, it's like a peach, but literally if you open the, uh, color mixer and you just lighten it, then it is kind of orange. Once again, this is something else that I learned through uh, experience with Wolfenstein 3D. Um, you know, I have done a Hawaiian painting and I used more browns, but uh, I'm just gonna use this peachier color to kind of start. Really, you can use whatever color. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to draw like a Martian, you can make them blue or purple or pinkish purple or, you know, whatever you're wanting the aesthetic to look like. Um, I'm just going to do this peachier color because, I don't know, every time I see myself in the mirror, I, I think these skin tones. So, but uh, we're just going to start with this. And we're going to do an oval. Yeah, see there you kind of see the um, the texture a little bit more. Alright, so there's a good oval. Oh, that's kind of upside down. I don't know why I have a tendency to do that. It's like, there we go. I think that's a little bit better. You want to do like an egg shape. Um, and this is no references, different ways on how you can draw people. Better start. As a matter of fact, give me one second. I forgot the uh, company that makes these, but these are literally, they're figure dolls, but they are. Um, 
but you can pose them. These ones are nice because they have like muscle definition and stuff, but you can pose them however you want. Um, and then you can take a picture on your phone, send that picture to your computer. Um, and then you can trace it just to have a reference point. Usually I use actual photos, um, but at the same time, you don't want to do a carbon copy of that picture. Uh, you want to do your own thing. Um, it's not cool to rip off other people's work. Once again, using it as a reference, just a pose yeah. reference or hair shine or something like that. That's different, but don't, don't rip off people's pictures. It's one thing to just feel like it's cool how this person is posing as opposed to let's just rip off this person's style, their hair, their eyes, let's just copy everything and make it yours. That's, that's not right. All right, so um, anyway, we got our um, oval. So this is me literally painting from scratch, no references or anything like that. So we're gonna do some like reference lines. And we want the colors to stand out. We want to find our midpoint for the head. Probably about like here. Um, I'm using red because it stands out a lot with the, the peachy color. So um, if you use something like a darker brown, you want something that uh, contrasts to that. So next we're gonna want to find where those eyes are, probably something like here. And then like a nose reference, probably down to here. I know, it looks like something from Event Horizon or something, it's awful. Um, and then that would mean the mouth is like somewhere around here, chin here. So now we have to kind of touch things up a little bit because, well, you can see my fuzzy head right now. Autofocus, thank you. You can see there's like some curves on this side and stuff like that. So literally like, that um one thing i've always noticed is the corner of your eye lines up with the ear and the bottom of your nose also lines up with the ear so um corner of the eye would probably be somewhere around here so um and we'll just do some like lines here like this, this, and this. Um, just to show, hey, that's where the ear is. Let's go ahead and trim this up a little bit. Yeah, Dad's drawn a face. Please do not take the stylus out of my hand. Hey, hey. Come on. Okay, child is smearing his hand all over the thing now. So, just like before, now with us doing this, we have to um, do some additional details, just like the ball. Show duty. I snack. that now it's getting me out that eyes that this eye is a little too far apart you can put multiple reference lines in etc etc there we go faces are kind of hard to draw um why references actual photo references help um, because you can line up where the eyes are etc etc once again don't copy one for one but you can um, just use it to find everything but we're gonna do that 
Next we're gonna do skin shade. And this part, I do throw in a little bit of browns. Most often I'll do three or four from this part. Once again, this is my personal palette. Um, so the nose line should be about like something like that. Let's see if I do this, I have to find um, something like that. So we're going to do this. There's a nostril. Um, that connects there. That for an eyelid. That. Um, this is where the mouth is going to be. So, um, you know, obviously my lips are kind of pinkish. So, yeah, I do different colors and stuff like that. For masculine characters, if you do pink, then it has a tendency of looking like lipstick. So I have a tendency of not even doing that, but um, just kind of putting in like a little bit of detail to try to show where the lips are. Even that, it's like you do that and you notice, oh no, there's a whole bunch of detail on the lip. Uh, something doesn't look right. So, but literally, this is how you draw. Um, make some, that's where the eyebrows would go. Maybe some hair. And then you can literally just kind of go from there. Um, but same kind of rules apply. You know, you do the. <sighs> Uh, skin shine and I use the browns I don't do the black because it just it blend it makes the colors stand out a little bit more and literally doing this can take you know about 40 hours um, you would not believe how many amazing paintings you know I like my work but you know doing all this kind of detail. It can take, no joke, about 40 hours. We're gonna actually put the skin shine under the shade because we do want um, detail. Um, we want the, the, the shade to actually pop out. Um, That smear tool. Smearing. We're gonna turn off these reference lines. You kind of need to see. No, I don't use keyboard short. The only keyboard shortcut I use is Control Z, which is the undo thing. Go. And yeah, really all drawing is, is, you know, understanding the shapes, understanding how things are supposed to look, like, in your mind. Yeah, it's one of the drawing references, the uh, people, 80, I guess you could play with that, that's fine. Um, like I said, I'm still waking up around, well, you guys can see it, so. You guys can't see it because my face is in the way. Uh, but the clock says it's 10.30 and it's April 18th, which is my birthday. Like I said earlier, happy birthday. I'll have some cheesecake later and some pizza. Uh, but yeah, this is just something I wanted to do. And uh, to kind of show my style and whatnot. Um, there we go. So yeah, when we remove the reference lines, now we got that going on. And it doesn't look perfect. It's kind of done haphazardly, you know, 30 minutes. 
which people might watch this and be like, oh, this video is dragging on, taking forever. Yeah, imagine doing a 40-hour painting. Imagine wanting to get work done on a 40-hour painting, but you have to watch a toddler all day. Not, not easy, okay? <laughs> it takes a lot of attention to detail. So we'll do that, you know, bring this up, and then we do the same thing. We can do overlays, hard light, soft light. The soft light is nice. We do another thing. And then that's all it is. I don't know why I keep selecting the oil or the palette knife. I call it, um, yeah, actually I call it a palette knife. Some people call it a mixer. And um, I call it a palette knife. I watch Bob Ross, so that's what I call it. Hi, 80. You mean good boy today? Yeah, you got a little drawing figure. Maybe when you get older, you can learn how to draw people. Dad would teach you. Dad would teach you. Okay, we're gonna put that on shelf. Okay. But yeah, we spread all this white out. Once again, there's a little bit of gray in there, a little bit of black, but that's okay. Cause when we um, do the overlay, it would be fine. Hair is also pretty um, tricky to do. We're gonna put a little bit of white down. Whoops, a little bit of white down here. And then a little bit of white right here. About to move on to the next little thing really quick. But yeah. As you can see, these four layers got shade, two layers of shine, and then the actual hard, um, the, the flush, the flush part, you know, so, um, these four things really make it stand out, and there are some phenomenal artists out there that I have no idea how they do the way they do. They do more the airbrushing thing. Um, with Photoshop and they use tools at their disposal but um, yeah when we do that have two layers of the uh, skin shine actually let's do the hard light because let's have that second layer stand out a little bit more that's the major difference between soft light and hard light soft light is softer it will blend out a little bit better Whereas hard light makes that layer stand out a little bit more. Yes, I know I talk with my hands and people don't like that either, but um, it's just my style. So let's do that. Now, moving to the next one. Hi, AD. What you clapping your hands for? For putting stuff in the desk. Okay. Oh, that's not necessarily a bad no, no. Yeah, the drawing figure. Yeah, he keeps having one of the drawing figures, which is okay. Um, I just realized that green ball kind of looks like an apple. Um, so yeah, let's pull up this thing again. The reason why is because, yeah, you're a good boy, 80. You're a good boy, running around like a crazy, but you're being good. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, it's the softer one. And I am gonna put some OC Remix music in this video to make it a little bit less boring for you guys. Um, I'll be sure to credit the people who did that, but now I'm gonna do hair. So, um, the first layer of hair we want behind the skin. The reason being, like, take this little bit right here, okay? It's behind my ear. So, this is what I mean about noticing how um, the layers are. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna create a new layer. Call that hair. <clears throat> and this is literally my painting process. I'll try to show something later. 
but um, because it's behind the skin, it's gonna be behind, which is what we want. Um, one of the things I do is I try to make it a little bit spiky at the end. So like, like this, um, because hair strands, you know, you think of like this, I have one like strand, you know, um, but that's how I do it. I kind of do like a jerky kind of movement. Like that, and then like that, trying to match it up. So now we're gonna do another layer. Now, well, actually, before we do that, let's put this here. Because we don't want, um, this is kind of movie magic kind of thing. So what we're gonna do, or art magic, um, we want the front hair to blend with the back hair, if that makes sense. Um, we're gonna do this. Front hair. Because we don't want to go over the ear, but we also need clearly front and back. So, I don't know why I'm humming. I'll put that music in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, then put some bangs in. I don't know why I like bangs so much. I just do, guys. Okay. Up right, so top, we just kind of smooth it all out. It's actually not looking too bad with not having any references. Angles are also good, important. Kind of like the way I'm looking, you know, this side more prominent. My right side not so prominent, but my left side is standing out a little bit more. But if it was just dead on, flat, then that's where, you know, a little bit less lifelike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Whisper wants out of the bathroom, Nicole. Yeah, I'm wondering, am I hearing go and a little bit like that um but yeah and then same deal we can put a little bit of shine in there um and with hair one of the fun things i like to do is i'm gonna start with two because honestly um it's just this part's fun it's the comic booky kind of leather shine it's like uh that and then like that, like that, um, a little bit there. You can, there is a thing that's too much shine, and I probably need too much shine. Um, I'm also trying to use my own hair as a reference where um, my shine would be probably like that, like that, and one like that. So this is gonna be the lightest layer. Um, and you can, you know, because it is hair. When you think of hair, it's not smooth. It's not a smooth thing. It can flow. I smell poopies, Aiden. I smell poopies from you. Hi, Whisper. But yeah, we can use that same smear tool and just kind of flick it. Um, to do, yes, hi, Whisper. This is how my my work experience goes, guys. Child, you got child, you got cat, you got um, stuff, got phone calls. Got a phone call earlier regarding something from a month and a half ago. 
And I'm like, guys, you can't, can't wait that long. There we go. Hell, I'm unemployed, but... I know you can't wait a month and a half for things, I'm sorry. Um, same thing. You could do overlays, um, hard light, soft light. Um, the thing is, is, some of these layers don't really work out the best because of different, um, like, some of these colors have different have more color in them than other colors. Other ones have more uh, light, uh, uh, more luminosity, I guess it is. Um, and you can open your color mixer and look at that. Um, let's see, like, like this. So yeah, once again, color mixer. Um, yeah, that's why I put a diaper wipe underneath his diaper, and I don't do it on the sofa. Trying to move the statue away from him because he took the head off. I don't care if he took the head off, okay, as long as he doesn't eat it. Once again, these are my days, and I do apologize about that. But this is what I mean about less color makes it more gray. Less color makes it more gray. And then luminosity. I don't know if that would be you, but it's literally dark to light. So um, that's how that is. <sighs> All right. But yeah, the hair is just like the skin. Um, like so that's actually not that bad. And I have no reference point other than myself here. I mean, I guess I can kind of see that. Um, one last thing I will do is eyes. Um, I won't work on this one, I'll just work on one. But it's very similar to the ball thing. So, um, we go into face eyes. We do this because we don't want it to bleed out. So, the quick select tool. There's a couple of different ones. There's magic wand, which I think that's one I usually do. Smart selection. I've had it with that one. Freehand selection, which is literally, and it's set on add. So like, if I do this, it will add to that. But um, yeah, so there's different ways you can do selection. One is the square, which is the more basic kind of like MS Paint kind of selecting. But uh, yeah, so now we'll do Irish. And I have blue eyes, so I'm gonna, you know, I want to go with more of this, this kind of aqua blue kind of, I don't know what you call it, feel. But we'll do that as the base color. And for some reason it just goes back to green. Um, that's that glitch I keep calling about. I think it's a glitch, but yeah, so there we go. We got our base uh, iris. A little bit rounder. Why are you fussy? Because you changed your diaper? You needed your diaper changed. Alright. Yeah, this is kind of a small piece, so he can actually choke on that. Let's not do that. Yeah, you ripped off the head, AD. Good job. Happy. Probably didn't mean to, and that's fine. So now, same thing. Um, this one I do a little bit different. So, um, we'll do Iris first. And if you notice our eyes, if you notice a picture of our eyes, the thing is, is there's not one solid color. I have blue eyes. But, like, I have a center that's kind of green and blue. Like, the outer part is more blue than green, so I kind of screwed this up. But, um, you know, we can do 
this. Check this out. So we're going to do blue. And then we'll do smaller smear. Yeah, it's a drawing, drawing figure and you ripped off the head. And you, now you just got the base. Okay. Um, something for me to fix later. Well, you gave it to me. Here you go. You can have it back. I don't know why you gave it to me. If you just wanted to throw a fit. I, I don't know. Okay, 80. But yeah, so we do this. Which covers up most of the beetle. And then, um... We'll do another one. To, I don't know. A little bit darker. Um... So I'm trying to get this kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. Make it a little bit darker. Not that big. Thirty. Yeah, kind of an ugly eye right now. It's gonna look better, trust me. Very ugly eye. Um forget what the black part is called. Might be the retina, I think. But I just call it the black part. Uh, we'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Hi, cat! Yes, hi, cat! Hi. Trying to do something right now with her. Yeah, hi. Go. And you have my phone again. There we go, we got a little bit of wetness in there. Let's make this a little bit like that. Um, for the eye wetness, one of the things you can do is make it lighter, more transparent, um, so you can see through it, make it have more the illusion of wetness. Um, last thing to do on this part, the eye, there's two parts, two things. Um, so we're going to do uh, the iris again. Uh, let's try the magic wand. Not a okay. I think magic wand looks a little bit better, like I was saying earlier. Now we're going to do. Hi. What? Yeah, I, you were shoving things in the desk. I saw. That is trying to do something right now. We're gonna take black, not white, program. There we go. And the reason why we do this, there is a tad bit of um, shade in our eyes because of, uh, oops, because of the eyelid. Huh? That? Then we. Yeah, I'm kind of doing my Bob Ross's. Oh yeah, I like that. That little popped out. So as you notice here, it just doesn't really work. Um, Luminance Legacy might work. 
So we're going to lighten that up. Probably, yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, and I mean, once again, I know it's not perfect or anything, but I'm going to have to leave it there because I am starting to get hungry. I've been doing this for about 46 minutes. Um, looks like someone's trying to get a hold of me on Discord. Um, but yeah, the hair is the same thing. You just keep doing shine, you keep doing shade. Um, let me pull up one of my uh, paintings really quick. Put it as the wallpaper. Uh, this one's actually... Let's see. There's this one. This one's a recent... Whoa, Windows 11. Cool, cool it. This one's a very recent one I did. Um, this one is actually one of my first coral paint shop paintings. Um, and this was me just kind of screwing around uh, playing. Uh, this is before I was figuring out the layers, how to create layers and stuff like that. And paint, uh, paint shop is different than Photoshop. Photoshop has something you can do, clipping mask, which literally is, it's, only paint on your previous image whereas paint shop the only way i figured that out is to select the part that you're painting and just create a new layer um so this is before i was really doing that i was just kind of screwing around with the uh the art media brushes the oil brush the oil paint brush and stuff like that uh let's see and i like actual oil paintings how the oil blend. Um, here's kind of a self-portrait I did in paint shop, but you can notice once again, there's the shine, there's all the uh, the detail. How do I, okay. So yeah, um, I wasn't doing, you could easily see, I even put in the tear dot. Um, I have a kind of strandy beard, so. This was me playing around with that. This was when I wasn't sure which browns to use as shading. Yeah, it's a painting Dad did. Um, this one's not even really my favorite painting. I need to do another self-portrait. Um, actually, yeah, even um, Gemini Davidson, I kind of patterned his looks after myself. I even have the, the leather jacket when I was riding the motorcycle. He drives a Mustang, which I think Mustangs are really cool cars, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I was kind of patterning his looks off of myself, even his kind of, uh, you know, 1950s grease way of combing his hair. And I have not been combing my hair. I have been very lazy about that, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, this is how I do leather shine, or one of the ways I do leather shine. Um, last photo is actually of my biker babe pinup, the Aries version. Um, this is a different way. How I did leather shine is I just did the individual um, strokes to show where folds would be and then but the thing is is I don't like smearing it actually now to look at this I don't think I smeared this, a lot of skin detail um but yeah you could see the different layers here and uh one of the things about this particular painting as to why I didn't smear a lot of it is most of it was mechanical and with machines you know you don't I do the 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 uh, kind of sketchy kind of smear because to, to show like imperfections in the skin and stuff. So like, I mean, you could even see like bags under my eye. And so like this little color here comes like this, uh, you know, a little bit inside of the ear and then it kind of spreads out. And, but if you look at the shine, it kind of, kind of comes down this way, comes around. It's, you know, then you got this, fold everything's backwards on my webcam okay give me a break um but around the fold of my nostril same thing so um 
but if you compare it to some of my Photoshop work, I don't even know what I have on here from Photoshop. Oh, here's one. This is one of my old Photoshop paintings, and you can see the layers are more smooth, the shine. Um, hi, Whisper. Uh, let's see. I know there's another one. Um, but yeah, like this one is actually a tattoo I have on my rib, and the artist, or no, on my forearm, not my rib. But the artist, the tattoo has actually fixed her hair because I was having a hard time doing that in drawings. But you can see the same thing. I did a brown kind of shade. Um, I like the sketchiness of the colored pencil. So that's kind of what I'm trying to also replicate. Hi, Whisper. You're being kind of pesky. So, um, but yeah, I do have that actually right there. So, and the tattoo gave her dark wings as opposed to bones because she's a dark angel. So it was a good, a good uh, change on this part. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's the video. Um, maybe I'll come back to kind of showing how, um, whoops, um, we are doing the two screen screen thing and then he's shoving things in my face but yeah that was the video uh, i hope it helps teach you some basics of painting um and these techniques i would say the tools might be a little bit different in things like say gimp or photoshop but i do hope that they help um even with you know hand drawing you know if you want to try hand drawing just sketching things out with a, a regular number two pencil you know or pen and you want to do this um you know i do encourage it and yeah you can see some of the, the hair did go over the um the ear which is fine you know living example it happens so um you know there is one painting i do want to show and it's someone who did inspire me to do painting. Um, yeah, this one. This one's by an artist. Uh, she used to go by Madeline Inc. And she really did help me out with uh, Photoshop. Um, there's some things that happen on Twitch. That's why I don't do Twitch anymore. Um, it seemed more all about the branding and advertising. And I'm just like, you know, I just want to talk to my friend. Um, friend, mentor, person, you know, was trying to make her proud of me, but apparently I was rude, so, um, sorry, um, like I said, that's why I don't do Twitch anymore, it's just the way they look at things is totally different than me, um, but yeah, so that's what you can do with Photoshop, and it's completely different, and this amount of detail still blows me away, um, but this is more my style, it's more my experience, what I've done, and I've ranted, i ranted, and uh, I need to get some food, and until I see you guys in the next show, just remember, stay cool.